Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are, whoever you are. This is yours truly, the Grand Queen, welcoming you to Just Stop It. We got a good one for you tonight. And listen, we're glad that you're with us tonight, and we are at another Sunday night and a new month. So happy new month. Happy new month. Happy new day to everyone passing through and joining us tonight. Uh, I'm just so excited. It's February. It's the love month, and it is also Black History Month. Well, listen, Black History is every day, all day, in my mind. We don't have to wait until February for Black History. I'm just saying, we are we are making new history at that. So here we are uh, at the Just Stop It show. So please, um, we just thank you for hanging out with us. And we just like to remind you, to share a friendly reminder that we are not a medical advisory. We do not uh, advise anything medically. We are consultants and we share valid information with you. Anything that pertains to your well-being, your overall well-being, the mental health, your your financial health, your spiritual health, any of those things, anything pertaining to you and wellness, you should seek professional help. Again, we are not a medical facility. We do not facilitate medical. We do not share medical advice. We will share links to things that are valid and and to help you gain a better perspective in your life. Uh, but please make sure that you view, view our disclaimer always, right? And again, we are about... Uh, we're about changing the narrative on how mental health is discussed, on how on how mental health support is is advocated. That's what we're about and more. So again, we're glad you came through tonight to just stop it. And we are called just stop it because we are bringing awareness to every politician, to our local community leaders, to every city and state agency to people for that matter that things can change to just change some of the 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 laws that are written that are reducing our mental health i'm just saying so here we are and we've got uh our hot spot to the show tonight so again i am the grand queen your host and we've got our co-host our shannon grace chappelle uh in the house the opulent Hi. one our opulent one in the house tonight Hello. There she is. There she is. Hello, and hello, we've hello. got our hot spot, another hot spot of the show, our media producer on the, with the JTI fam. There he is. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, everybody. Bro. What's absolutely, up? <laughs> absolutely. And listen, we've been having um, we've been having a time here uh, oh. uh, on the show and outside of the show because we we welcome experiences, testimonies because that's 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 what makes life go round. That's what makes the world mm -hmm. go round. Experiences, testimonies, uh, together with valid information and more. That's how we take the lead in our lives and yeah. ask questions. Some people don't ask questions, but that's okay. Learn to ask some questions and seek some answers. So we was rocking. Hey, we are rocking in Black History Month. This is our, what, our first Sunday? Mm -hmm. Black Indeed. History Month. And, uh, history and as we, we are making new history, we changing the game on history um, across generations, across the world, every city, every state, every country. Um, we talked about last week, we've been talking ongoing about accountability. And um, the poet um, from the, the galaxy of poets from uh, the, the poet has spoken the, that phenomenal family, the galaxy family, um, just brought it to our attention about, you know, accountability, women and accountability, um, talking about the, how it ties into domestic violence, just behavior. In other words, how we treat each other. Our women, mm -hmm. men are many times held more accountable than, than, than women. Um, for some reason in this world and the way I, I believe it's the way people have been reared. I believe it has to do with religious beliefs and cultural habits and of the sort. Um, now, the question that we were asking, you know, are women equally accountable as men are concerning mental wellness? Many times, now I had a little experience this week and I, and I got to share that with y'all. I got to share mm -hmm. that. That this is a everybody moment that I had, <laughs> and uh, I was like, uh, 
it, it was past the Scooby-Doo moment. So I was like, okay. The question came to me, you know, um, are women equally accountable as men uh, mm. concerning mental uh, wellness, mental health? You know, so how it happened, it just so happened, it, it came to my mind sometimes when we are, because, you know, trauma, we talked about why women and men do what they do because of trauma, you know, they've been traumatized by something, something happened to them and continually it was bad and it happened to them, but there was no intervention or prevention. And so they brought it over into a relationship. You know, I'm just trying to make the connection. So anyway, it happened. I, this person that I, I was forming a relationship with to, to buy a home. And this is a realtor, you know, I'm going to go anonymously on it. Um, but I believe I could talk about it because of the experience. And, um, and I, and I want to know, the accountability of this person. This is a very uh, interesting person who is making money in the realty business. Um, decided uh, the, the the verbal, the connection, the the conversation that was had with this person to go to the next level, not to buy a house, but to look at a house. Uh -huh. Right. So uh, before I, I, I came, I went to a whole nother county yesterday. I was out for the day. Right. I went to another county, set up the appointment to go and view a house to do a walkthrough. Simple. Um, usually I would say I would ask the person if they could do a um, like a video, we could video chat with the with the with the, the seller so I could see things in that, you know, as the first step. And then I would come you know, actually go to the property. But instead I did it in the reversal. And I don't usually do it like that, but because this person said this was the only time that she had, but I, you know, she didn't want to do it like that. She didn't think, she didn't value it. I shared that with her from the, from the gate on, on several occasions, but she didn't, she didn't remember because something that you, you value, you remember it. You know what I mean? And particularly when you're dealing with consumers, you remember those consumers and you should treat every consumer as equal. However, um, I made arrangements to go to this county, to the next county, to view the house. Um, my, uh, the, the arrangements that was made, the person couldn't make it to take me there, to, you know, to share the ride to take me there. So I took an alternative route. I took, I took the train. Uh -huh. um, and that, in another sense, was another experience. But anyway, when I got there, she claimed, uh, and this was, a, I believe it was an open house. It was already arranged for the, the, the seller to, to show the house. At the oh. same time, she could have, you know, she could have vouched to me and said, okay, she's on the way. Can you just wait? She, when I spoke with her, she was, she was reprimanding me like I was her child. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you're infringing on somebody else's um, property. You're infringing on somebody else's time. Why are you late? You should, you have no business being late. I'm here waiting. I have other things to do. And then um, she went into some other stuff and I was like, wow, I was, a, I was taken back. I was taken back because she, she, she dealt with me as though she didn't know me. She dealt with mm -hmm. me as though I was just like another number. And I was really surprised because I thought I had a, I thought we had a rapport is what I'm saying. When you think you have yeah. like a rapport with a person, then you, you believe you can go to the next level with something mm -hmm. as simple, even though it was an appointment and of the store, she could have vouched for me. She's a realtor for God's sake is what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You're Not a realtor. That. You know how to, you know, the verbiage between you and the, and the seller, even though you're representing the buyer, you know, the yeah. verbiage to make the seller calm down and say, listen, you know, let's do this and things like that. At the same time, she knew the length and the extension that I came to get there. And yeah. on top of that, she didn't even offer the, the, the thing to make it easy to say, okay, let me pick you up at the station. <laughs> Not. Yeah. Yeah. Not. So that part right there really stretched my brain when it came to accountability. Like, where did she get this negativity from? And she oh. was, like I said, um, in the her wording and her behavior, she was just like, I don't care. She was just like an I don't care tip. And I was really like not surprised because of other things is what I'm saying. Uh -huh. um, like, where is this coming from? I say, I have to say that if somebody behaves like that, then definitely they haven't. They're, they're either they're still healing from a, a previous relationship or uh -huh. they are still passing through something from that mm. relationship. The, the problem uh -huh. I had with that is 
sometimes when women are like that, they will pass it on to the next person, be it man or woman. And just think if they're mm-hmm. in a relationship with a male, with our male counterparts, how that thing plays out. In my experience, they must learn to be accountable, even if it, if they're hurting. Even if they're hurting, even if they're, if, because if they're hurting, they will tend to exploit others and maybe not even know it. You know, just like we always say, a person could be having like a, a breakdown, having a, a mental mm-hmm. moment, a spiraling moment, and they don't even know what's happening to them. I believe mm-hmm. the same thing when it comes to accountability, that sometimes women and they are, they may be mentally abusive and then go and it ties into physical abuse. They may mm-hmm. not know where it came from and let alone where they're going with it. So, yeah, it, it's a it's a concerning it was really a concerning moment. I was like, wow. And just think yeah. I hadn't even signed on a dotted line. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, yeah. I hadn't even signed on a dotted line and which is a good thing. I was glad that I found out early in the game, you know, it's just with, with, with our women, when, when does it, when are they going to learn to become accountable? What seems minute to some could really stretch out to be a a, a, a mountain. It, it can start from mold hill, a, a little mold. You know, mm-hmm. I don't even know how molds happen on the skin and the face or a mold hit, and can really just expand. And then I'm like, wow, how do we deal with this in our history? We are black, we are people of color, and this is a person of color. And I'm like, wow, that that has to stop because it will carry over into a relationship with anybody, let alone our male Mm -hmm. counterparts. And I said that to say this, that our women, we are the ones who help to heal. We are the ones who help um, motivate the healing process. And how do we, how do we stop it? You know, how Mm -hmm. do we stop it? How do we help our women to become accountable for the words that they say? This doesn't apply to all of our our women, you know, because we have good women and we have great men out there. It's just that we need each other just like we need the air to breathe. And Mm -hmm. and how do we help folks to to be accountable for their actions, especially verbally? Verbal abuse is wicked, let alone physically abusing uh, a person, Mm -hmm. a woman physically abusing a man. And then he not being able to feel like he can speak about it. He should be able to speak about it because it takes two people to tango. When it started, Mm -hmm. where did it start and why? You know, so yeah. yeah. So that's that's my my hot take on it wow. <laughs> for this week. Yeah. And I, I had to like speak about that like, uh, what what are we gonna do? There's a lot yeah, of said in the color purple, what are we gonna do, silly? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, so, that was abuse. That was about yeah. abuse. Yeah. Hmm. So what y'all say, you know, how do we help people become women? How how do women become accountable? Our women uh, of color, and this is Black History Month. We, we have so much that has, has caused um, us to, wow, so many things that has caused women to do what they do, to say what they say, when they say it, in the moment, it happens. Mm-hmm. You know, in, in the moment, like, how do we stop it? How do we help people to become accountable? And uh, God, okay, DJ, DJ, Mr. Wubu, <laughs> Mr. DJ. All right, what are we talking about? Uh, all right, we we talking about accountability. accountability. How are are women equally accountable as men are concerning mental wellness? In other words, you know, are women accountable for their behavior? Should they be physically abusing men? Is the reality, is there a reality check? Do women physically abuse men? And it, it's, it's yes to all the above. So what yeah. y'all say? Oh, God, there, there's so much to unpack there. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> let's just start with your situation, because I was listening very closely. Um, let's be honest. We don't treat each other the way that we should treat each other with respect anyway. And right. And... Um, we go into situations um, projecting how we feel. It could have been something at home. It could have been what's going on in life. It could have been a variety of things to her reaction to it. If it's already right. established that um, you know you were on your way, I mean, what else is there supposed to be in knowing your situation in particular? 
right? Exactly. Um, but you want to you want to look at this this whole thing first. Like I said, we don't treat each other with the respect that we should treat each other, but we will be more inclined to treat our counterparts very differently. Okay. Right. Um, right. And, and I can and I can say this to be really honest. I remember being, you know, at the metro uh, here in in the in our area and needing help. And the station manager, whoever was attending that station, was not quick to uh, help me, um, you know, with my faith or whatever I needed. Um, and they were really quick to, to help the, the other people. Let's just say other people. Right. So we just we just treat each other badly. I, I see more. <laughs> wow. I see more of that on now. Now let's get to what we were talking about before, as far as women and and accountability. There is none. Wow. There is none. Period. Wow. And then when you talk in terms of abuse, as My far goodness. as men, as far as men and men experiencing. Verbal abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse, you know, that accountability factor as far as on her end really isn't there. Now, we automatically yeah. think that maybe that man has done something to her. Um, we see the woman as the weaker vessel, right? We see that she's not capable of doing such things. But when yeah. she does it to him, here's the double standard. When she yeah. does it to him, he's automatically uh, deemed as being what, what the older folks would say, henpeck, a weak, a weak man, mm. right? Wow. And wow. and then it's laughed about. It's laughed about. I have My known God. women that have went would have uh, physically attacked men, and it was like a ki ki ha ha thing. But we know that if the if wow. the shoe was on the other foot. Then he goes. He goes. He can go to jail. He can yeah, jail. Yeah. If the police yeah. are called. So that, exactly. that's one example of. To me, that's one example right there of how the double standard is so far in there. And one thing I had told Trayvon the other day, I said, um, I like to watch a lot of true crime and everything. And I was telling you about Lizzie Borden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Wow, you know, which was a which was a famous murder case in the in the eighteen hundreds. Really, she she did not get prosecuted or convicted because in that day and time, it was just unfathomable to imagine that a woman could do such a heinous crime. Right. So really, her gender, her gender, saved her. Wow. In that case, it saved. Wow. Her. It saved wow. her. Wow. Case. Talking to me about that, yeah. Uh huh. Exactly. Because it was all male jewelry. Because to me, to me, that's a good example of how things can happen. But people say, "Oh no, not her." You know, you must have wow. done something to her, or or wow. the, the reason that she hit him. But when nobody should be hitting anybody, we're not children. Exactly. Exactly. Um, nobody should be attacking anybody, and the and the countless times yeah. I have read stories of women committing murder toward men. Wow. Killing, you know, killing them. <laughs> wow. And she has a <laughs> DJ, <laughs> DJ <Yeah>. Slicky. <laughs> you know. DJ but Slicky is like, old school now. He you know, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, she the whoop. Could, okay. Oh, yeah, whip a little could, whip a little uh, could, a little booty there. Yeah. Right. You could not do that. You know what I mean? Oh, you must have done something to her. Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. No, she uh -huh. shouldn't be chasing you around with a weapon. Exactly, Period. exactly, exactly. So we yeah, just lost that's so much respect son. for each other. We lost yeah. so much respect for each other. Yeah. And I, I know in our community that it's just ridiculous. It really it's is. For, so for is it safe things. to say it's culture? Is it it's culturally acceptable? Because I uh -huh. um, I heard a um I heard a comedian, she said uh, well, this is her take, she said uh, on accountability. She said mm -hmm. um, people in her generation could cook and split. <laughs> yeah. She was on the Sherry Lu on the Sherry show. She said her people in her generation, I believe she's um the what is it, the boomers or or actually she's mm -hmm. generation Z, I believe. Mm -hmm. Famous Michelle. Generation. Mm -hmm. Hey, 
Thank you, folks. Thank you, family. Yeah, Miss Michelle put you really stepping in. One of my uh, right. comedian friends stepping in. All right. Thank All right you, now. and Slicky, for watching. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, guys. Yeah, she said. Um, she's a comedian too. She said. Um, she said her generation. She said uh, women. She says she and her friends and them they can cook and split. You know, and and, and exercise. Yeah. Well, she. She said she could cook. She said she could cook uh -huh. and she could split. She said some uh -huh. of her friends could cook, but they can't split. She said uh -huh. in the younger generation, they can't cook and they can't split. So I'm just saying oh. that when it comes to accountability and of the sort, and there is none, it seems yeah. like it is really normalized in because of cultural, cultural practices and uh -huh. acceptability. It is unacceptable. Yeah. It's time to say, stop. Just what? Uh -huh. Just stop it. Stop yes, it. opulent one. Yes, opulent it's one. A, it's, a, it's a normal thing. I say this too. It, it's a normal thing. Yeah, you know, true, hey, true enough. Um, you know, DJ, I say didn't say that. Um, so <laughs> you know, you had some women that hey, they will they will run up on a dude and they can defend themselves and do everything else and can roll like a man. Right. You know, however, uh, absolutely, absolutely, still, absolutely, still in in that society, and and people sometimes still think that. You know, yeah, that, that, right. yeah. That, that woman, that poor, you know, that poor woman, she ain't, she ain't going to do that. She doesn't do things like that. But some of them go just as hard as a dude. Yeah, right. yeah, or harder, yeah. Or harder. Apparently Very somebody, true. uh, apparently somebody just struck, uh, <laughs> some uh -huh. lady has struck DJ Slicky with a bag of coins. <laughs> he said <laughs> I remember this lady hit me with a bag of coins. So I, I want to know what happened in its it. entirety. What happened oh, in the situation? Wow. I hadn't that, heard, but you see, right? you see, I hadn't heard that move in a while. A bag of nickels. Right. <laughs> you see what you did right there, though. No, but I want. I want to hear regardless. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care what the situation. That's the thing. Yeah. People got a bias. A bag of so. nickels. Wow. Yeah, wow. Well, you, know, you know that song. Yeah. yeah, and you know th that's somebody's. Um, you got to be careful. That's somebody's son and somebody's oh. daughter that they're in a relationship with. Whether it's a neighbor, yeah. whether it's interpersonal, whether it's um, you know, intergenerational, multi generational. Oh. You're talking about again accountability and where does it stop? And also, too, remind just being mindful tonight. Uh, oh. I just need to pop a little scripture in there. Um, this is we're talking about. Um, being free, you know, looking at the birds, free and unfettered, not tied down to anyone or one thing. Um, just being carefree, but also acknowledging and counting far. We are counted far more than the birds, you know, back in um, in certain countries, um, certain things are held as a commodity. Um we ourselves, as people of color, this is why we at Black History. We are making history. We ourselves were held as a what? A commodity. We ourselves yeah. were held as chattel, sold and 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 branded day to day. Our children, our babies, even before our babies were born, as soon as they knew the child was conceived, it was marketed. So here we are talking about accountability. All those things have to stop because we are we are deemed more valuable our, because of our creativity. Our creativity is unleashed with good mental health support. According to Matthew 625, again, we are worth more than birds. And, and thank God for nature because we really learn how to behave through nature. However, we have to put a cap on it. There's a stop and a go with everything. There's a modification in everything. So tonight we ask that you keep it clean. Don't be mean, keep it clean. Because, you know, we want to move on to higher. We are yeah. all leveling up, leveling up together. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, you know, that bag of nickels, Indeed, I would like to know how that went, too, because that's an old yeah. school move. <laughs> you know, <laughs> carry a bag of nickels. My parents didn't even talk about that. I'm like, why are they carrying a bag of nickels? It was, right. um, it was for protection. You don't want to carry a knife. You don't want to knife up. And now here we are. What we do legally, we lawyer up. So now right. we got to learn the law. We have to learn what the laws are all about because technically the court system is not set to protect us um, if we don't understand the language because uh -oh. it's really corporate language. It's set to speak to the corporation. The corporation is, a, is the, the court and city and state agencies. They are the corporation speaking to each other. So this is why you need lawyers to interpret. So yeah, we oh. got to keep law lawyering up and understanding these laws and get them to change. And then I believe that's when we come 
hopefully become accountable. You oh, know? Yeah. Um, oh, DJ, <laughs> he want the link, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> yeah, he got something to say. Yeah, right. He he want the link, y'all. Uh, right. Yeah. All right now, producer. So yeah. So you know, this is a hot topic. So yes, you guys just come on through because yeah. we we've got to find out how to change the game, how to change your mindset. You know, uh -huh. it's all about the mindset of accountability. We got to change that no to yes. We got to right. change some of the no's to no because technically a no is a no, right? Um, uh -huh. But you got to have a valid no and a valid yes. Right. Right. Yes. So it, it's uh -huh. good. We see people chiming in. That's good. Woohoo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because um, th this way we'll make new history. What you That's say? Fine. What you say, Trey? What you say on all mm -hmm. of this? Because I know, no, this is hard. This is hard for our males. We got to make it easier. Yeah, it is. Well, the what subject is so Trey? um, the subject is so open that it need that we need to break it down into pieces. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. too large yeah. of a subject to attack in in a conversation. Um, yeah, it's broad. I didn't say too much this show because I just. Um, I would love, you know, I love hearing what people have to say and what people think, but yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's something that needs to be approached in steps. I would say that, mm -hmm. um, I agree. you know, it's not a, it's yeah. not a, just a quick, you know, I don't, I don't really know what to say unless somebody has a formal question to be honest, because it just, it's heavy. Um, you know, most of my life, it really, the subject didn't matter until just now. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's so just really heavy. I have nothing it's to heavy. really say, to be honest. Um, exactly. If someone has a question, you know, as as me being a guy, if somebody has a question for me or that they think of mm -hmm. or want to know or want, you know, what my take on that'll help me. But other than that, exactly. it's just a, it's it's a general conversation broad. for me. So I'm just participating yeah. and being a part of the segment. Well, yeah, have, it's really broad. Have you experienced, you know, in your in your years so far, anyone having a, you know. I guess maybe experiencing some type of abuse from a female. Um, Have you ever come across that? It is often, well, okay, females have a way, this is not, this is, this is an instinct thing, this is a mind thing, you know, um, just my observance, you know, uh, have a way of making Thing, like painting a different picture of something. Um, I've, I've experienced yeah. firsthand gaslighting. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. so someone making you paint, paint a picture for you, paint a picture for you, but then making you think there's the, like the picture isn't there. I don't know. Like it was just never, yeah. I don't know. So people exactly. try to, people, I deal with people claiming that they, want certain things or want certain things to be a certain way, but then at the same time um, contradict themselves by weaponizing um, your faults, um, maybe wow. things that you can, uh, can or cannot do. Um, right, right. Um, I would say, I guess as a guy, it, um, the women that are in your lives matter more than, I guess, it is displayed. Um, uh -huh. when, you're, when your cup is empty, um, I'm not gonna <laughs> cuss, obviously, but what the heck is anybody <laughs> looking for? Um, <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, when like you that. have nothing left, so it's wow. Nobody's cared until now. Nobody's asked wow. me until now. So I, wow. that's why I just didn't have nothing to say because I, it's Understood. nice that it's a topic of conversation, but nobody cared until literally eight thirty one. Yeah. <laughs> wow. At night. Wow. So um, exactly. You know. So I. Women, men are stronger, but men are naturally weak to the women that are in their lives. Yeah, it doesn't matter what it doesn't even matter what his actions are on the outside. If you don't investigate what's under the surface, um, you have to dig. Uh, you have to yeah. want to understand. Um, I think it was social media that I'll blame, I guess, because people don't. Um, even if you want a dollar back, don't even court anymore. They don't truly court each other and truly no. understand each other. Truly, like no, mm -hmm. nothing is true anymore. So everything, absolutely, absolutely. everything is so in disarray that unless yeah. we're chopping it down into simple subjects or breaking it down into you know smaller pieces, mm -hmm. I, I can't. It's too broad of a thing to speak on. But 
to yeah. add, to dial back to your question though um yes yes um absolutely, absolutely. especially hey, those in power you know absolutely. those that have power absolutely. under their belt um yeah. we're already fighting our own women in the first place our own you know aunts our own cousins mothers whatever it may be but we're we're fighting each other as people so yeah. i don't know what anyone is looking for um oh. unless we're really going to get into those subjects that are really going to clear the way and have us understand each other um like i was saying to the poet for instance and i'll wrap it up but what i, what I was saying to the poet was that um i wish that we can have some type of seminar some type of segment or something when everybody has to come in if you don't agree to put this piece of tape over your mouth then you cannot walk in these doors because when you sit down and listen everybody needs to close their mouth and shut up <laughs> tape it and i'm, I'm serious and tape i'm very it. serious tape you know it. everybody needs to listen because there's not everybody wants to feel heard which is completely yeah. understood, you know, but we have forces, like uh, things that are put in front of us as distractions and things like that, that have us not focused because when I was speaking of black history, you know, I watched a lot of black history. I watched a lot. I've seen a lot of women and men of color work together to get a lot of things done. So we're more so looking at what's going on now than we were looking at what's going on before, because I've seen there's a slew of history of us doing those things together. So I know it can be done. I know it's possible. I know it's there, but mm -hmm. I would like for us to break this down into smaller segments for me to be able to like answer anything specific, really. But yeah, but I have you, experience, but you, you know, that. but you know what Trayvon with that is when I, when I say certain things and we've had conversations and stuff too, just in general, right. I, I speak from knowing that there are some, Hey Kenneth. If you say, hey Kenneth. If you, if yeah. You say, hey Kenneth. If you say as far as, as women, there definitely are some things that um, we can do better, and we can do better to support each other. And right. I just see, I just see the hate. I'm I'm a big social media person, so I'm I'm looking at discussions and and stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. But if you if you were to make anything better, what I don't see that we're doing and we're capable of doing is we're not being honest. And every time someone's honesty and truth comes out to say, all right, this is not, what I see is the problem, or this is right. how we feel. It's immediately attacked. Right. So if I'm having a conversation with you to try to resolve a problem, if I'm not hearing you and you're not hearing me, or at least even if, even if you don't agree with it, even if you don't agree with it, to say, right. okay, I'm sorry you feel that way. I didn't know. But to hear what someone else is saying and, and learning from it to get better perspective, if, if you're going to automatically be like, well, that's not true, you know, <laughs> or, or right. you know, and, and, and sometimes projecting how you feel about the, the, you know, that person or that situation or that group of people, right. you come in, come in the gate with that in the conversation that you're supposed to have, then nobody's listening to anybody. So all you're doing yeah. is going back and forth. Well, well hence the reason doing. for the tape. Hence the reason for the tape. When you come into the, like, there is no so option. Yeah. And unless you're talking, there is no you option. Talk, wow. You, talk, wow. And, you know, it's like I'm talking to you, you talk well. And I say, Trayvon, you know, you made, you know, what you said made me feel bad. Well, no, it didn't. Right. You know, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, wow. right. You how do you how do you get anywhere with that? So I, I think a big yeah. part of it is and I like that tape over the mouth. Some people need to put two pieces of tape on their mouth. <laughs> well those, we those we're gonna have we, we, flags. We uh -huh. just stop at do believe in, in being uh in prepped and ready. So we will have yeah. multiple rolls of tape, plenty for anybody who chooses to join our seminar. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so That's there will be no issue with her. you. Yeah, there's no issue with you being able to speak or not speak because when it's not your turn, that is that I'm gonna figure out in a year how to yeah. do something uh -huh. like absolutely, that. Absolutely, it might be yeah. a metaphorically, but you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that that'll be a great event. Listen, mm -hmm. yeah, listen uh -huh. to me. Listen to what mm -hmm. we, what each other is saying, and stop mm -hmm. coming in hateful out the gate. That's not gonna well, resolve I nothing. I don't nothing. know if y'all ever been. Um, I don't know if y'all ever been to a silent party before where no. everyone in the room oh, no, well I, I have one time so when i was younger we had a silent party but everyone oh. in the room has the dj is synced to everyone's ear headphones so if you don't have headphones in the room oh. is dead silent so yeah. 
I'm saying if we were to do some type of event like that, maybe the person holding a microphone, everyone hears the person with the microphone in their ears. So the yes. only person that's actually heard is the person uh-huh. with the microphone. You know, so I'm, I'm going to try to figure out that's something. That's a good idea. To, to create, yes. you know. Yes. Yeah. That's you a know, great communication like um, lesson to teach like communications. That. Yeah, that's accountability. Yeah. Looks like accountability to me. People wow. have to listen. Um, yeah. But I've definitely that's- seen... Uh, I definitely yeah. seen the lack of what men are not able to do. I've definitely seen that weaponized in uh-huh. in my life, in my life. Uh-huh. But uh-huh. in general, um, I definitely see downfalls um, on both sides. If it were uh-huh. me that presented the the subject, I would have presented it and put both of us, both male and female, on the platform at the same time or on the on the stand to to uh-huh. speak our piece or or even even be highlighted as people, two people up to you know, a uh, species of, or whatever, of color. Um, uh-huh. now, now, I'm sorry, male and female, you know, uh, two people of color, male and female, that um, are dealing with the same things because we, we both highlight each other. There is no, we have to take away the defense part. We yes. have to take away everybody shouting whatever they can shout in just to be heard uh-huh. for that moment, just to make uh-huh. sure they're, they're heard. You know, we have all of these social platforms that are used in the in- most incorrect ways. Um, yeah, everybody yeah. wants to be heard, and but they're talking about the wrong thing. So yeah. if we can yeah. really get, you know, figure out how to get the discussion popping on that, I think that will open up the door mm-hmm. because it's too, as a man, that's too much for me to just try to say in 30 minutes or an hour or so. You exactly. Know, I would love yeah. to see that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've yes, dragged, yes, we would. I've been dragged for that. You know, I've been dragged for saying we just need to have we need to have a discussion. They can't you can't bring to the table any, you know, I hate you. You hate me. And I'm going to say the meanest thing possible. It's not productive. Right. You know, it's not productive to come in, listen without anger and listen to what's being said, because you keep your mouth shut and your ears. Thank open. you, Slicky. Right. Then, then you can get a lot of things in a better perspective, and it might even change your uh, perception of things and give you something right. to think about. That's mm. all I'm saying. And I got Kenneth said, uh, <laughs> said the hate is the uh, the hate is the result of conflict resolution not being administered from trauma. Understood. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's a that's a yeah. I mean, that that's. Uh, one, I would mean, just have a, a, this thing. This thing is a as men, whatever that uh, you know, you're not supposed to have emotions and all that stuff. Like same same things my mom said, but wow. um, nobody cares. I talk wow. to like my male friends like about this all the time. Nobody cares. Nobody cares wow. if you're depressed. Nobody cares if you're down and out. Or nobody cares. Nobody cares. Wow. So if we can yeah. start caring, and exactly. maybe I have more to say about it, but you know. Exactly. At least I, I'm I'm grateful though that we're having mm-hmm. a conversation. So that yeah, right exactly. now is enough. For me. At least people are considering what men might be feeling like because um, mm-hmm. going back to what I was saying real quick about the women in your lives, um, the women in our lives as men, um, mm-hmm. your words matter. Okay, so watch what you say and how you say it. It's not about. Yes. And and that's not in an authority. Let's clear the air real quick because it's not in an authority. Oh, I'm a man. You go. It's a man's world. No, that's not what I'm saying. Not at all. But what I'm saying is, you're. We are more sensitive, far more than y'all are. Yeah. Y'all, I watch mm-hmm. plenty of y'all get up and and get two or three kids. It doesn't matter how many kids you have. Two or three kids in the car. You know, you got all the lunches packed. You out walk, stand out there in your bonnet or whatever. Your little your robe. You know, to get your kids <laughs> on the bus. So I see plenty, plenty of women, especially yeah. black women. Let me, let me first of all honor the black women that I see that are business owners, homeowners that I know personally. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Kizzy Curls, the lady that uh, does my hair. Um, I seen her at uh, Wawa. I told y'all about that last uh, show or two ago. Yeah, um, shout I'm a to shout. Her. Yeah, I told her I was going to shout mm-hmm. her. Out cause she, uh, she came into my story and um, and uh, I shared, a, you know, was talking to her, texting her, and shared the link and stuff. So I have a few people that are coming in from different areas watching so i appreciate y'all but let me highlight the black women that i know Absolutely. because i know a lot of strong i have all strong black women in my family it might be a female army it might be a female platoon behind me but at the same time you know let's not forget that there's a lot of women that took and bear a lot not just family members but women in general that took and bear a lot that they didn't have to on behalf of a man and what he has going on 
Cool. So it's 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 not just a quick conversation. You know, there's so much to say. It's not. And this this it's this sparks such a great uh line of conversation, especially Wednesday and stuff like that. But um I like that we're starting to consider what we feel what men feel. Yeah. It's so yeah. important. So, uh, so it's so so important, you know, because we do need each other. Regardless, you know, you get that mantra of, you know, I don't need a man. We we well, yeah. I, I I like to rephrase that. Tell me, I don't need a man. No, you don't need any old person in your corner. You right. don't need any old person that's not going to uplift you. You don't need any old person, you know. And that's for that's for uh, for men too toward women. You don't need somebody that's not going to pour into you, not going to build you. If you if you feel bad when you're with them, then you shouldn't be with them. See what I'm saying? Right. Absolutely. So, so, Absolutely. But we still need each other because we thrive off of each other. We build really off of each other. And we're just really clouded. And I, and I blame social media, too, in a lot of ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. that anybody anybody can get a mic and say yes. anything. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And if if they see that they can get uh, more clicks, Miss Ariel, how are you doing? Uh, if they hey, see they get more clicks by by bashing or something like that for entertainment purposes, that that's not helping, you yeah. know. And, and and like you had just said, knowing the contributions that people have put into their families and into society, um, you know, it comes. There's there's a emo the emotions and the hate comes from somewhere yeah somewhere yeah yeah you know yeah. the you know the, the family there's there's some disdain somewhere really saying and being open about what that is you know indeed why do i why do i not like you because i i know some women that don't like men and some men they can't stand women yeah they right, just can't right. stand it they right. you know yeah. they're grouped into a, a, a whole new category based on the the few men or the few women that you have dealt with and now the whole group is this or that and that's not fair that's not fair yeah, yeah. you know yeah just i mean really seriously just for just what you call it clickbait just for clicks miss <laughs> ariel exactly. said um, exactly miss yeah, ariel said you. uh yeah she said very true miss shannon that's uh mm -hmm. miss ariel was a part of mm -hmm. uh the, this in support of the galaxy of poets so she came in here at hey, the same time as them. So she's reoccurring. She's coming back to uh, a show after the show she's already watched. So thank you for coming yeah. back to thank watch you. it. So thank you, yeah. yeah. Thank accountability you, is the subject. That's what we're talking exactly. about is accountability. Exactly. I was, uh, Can I say one more thing before I last? Sure. Yes, yes. <laughs> sure. Go right ahead. You know, people are tired. People are just yeah. tired. Yeah. We so we so want to love each other and get respect and build a family and do all of those things. But I do think from trauma, wherever yeah. it is, and trauma don't necessarily mean that you were physically hurt or anything like that. Not at Mental all. Trauma, exactly. Mental exactly. trauma. Some sometimes things can happen to you where you say, you know, I'll never do that again. Right. Well, I tried right. one more time. You know, I tried one more time, and and yeah. this happened again. I'm not gonna go yeah. there again. Yeah. You know exactly. that type of thing. Exactly. <laughs> so you know, so let's say the accountability also is in taking accountability for yourself and your actions and how you move as, as well. Um, yes. <laughs> some people hate, I've said that before and some people hate when I said it, but you know, you, you can't be upset with certain situations when you've put yourself in purposely. And I think that's where that trauma and that emotional thing comes in. And I think we put ourselves in situations sometimes. I think you know yes. what I mean. Sometimes yeah. Yeah. purposely knowing that that's not a good place for you to be, but you're there anyway. And this is where the trauma comes in. Why are you there? And you know, it's, it's called, I call it signing up for your own misery. Oh, wow. <laughs> Purpose, purposely <laughs> yeah. signing up mm -hmm. for your own misery. Yeah. When you know, you see what I'm saying, Trayvon, Professor, you know, when you know it's some crap. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But then yeah. you can't turn around and say <laughs> you can't no, turn just say no. You, and say no. You know, you can't, yeah, you can't turn around and say, well, this happened to me, or I'm gonna blame that group of people, or I'm mm. gonna blame that group of you know, that group of people. When you sometimes have put yourself in a situation per you know, yeah. purposely or inadvertently that 
you know, you know, you shouldn't have been there. And that's where your mental health, protecting your mental health, you got to protect it at all costs. Exactly. So you can't have anybody in your life, anybody in your life purposely try to put them over there. Yeah. yeah. Because you can even subject yourself to that. Exactly. But I think people object themselves to that sometimes because let's just be honest. Maybe they're lonely. Maybe yeah. that's the person that they're used to, you know, in a relationship yeah. wise. Um, and it could be a relationship. Don't have to be romantic or not. I've noticed this, you know, you don't want to be alone. You don't, you don't want to not have um, companionship, you know, romantic companionship or friendship or whatever it is. You know, you think maybe it would get better. All I got to do is hold on. Yeah. Or I can change them and that type of stuff. So that's a sense. I'll say this. That is a sense of accountability, too. We can't blame exactly. everybody yeah. else for everything all the time. Right. So Kenneth had a my, comment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Kenneth had Kenneth. a comment. He said uh, accountability has to be cultivated through a disciplined lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. the thing. It's not it's not something that's taught either. You want to get over what it is that you're going through. Everybody gets tired of being tired. So yeah, eventually yeah. you're going to naturally change things because you're just tired of going through it. It could have been something that you could have been um, even people, for instance, with addiction of oh, any kind. Yeah. I mean, you could be, yeah. you know, it could be a lifestyle. You know, you want to get out of it forever. But one thing or um, just one day, you're just going to get tired and stop or figure yeah. out how to help yourself get out that situation. So people got to want to seek out change. People don't yeah. want to change. And exactly. when my mom yeah. mentioned social media, it's yeah. that's one of those ways of being validated. So when people are oh. like some of those words you use, yeah. mommy, like uh, lonely and and uh, yeah. they don't want to be by themselves and things like that. So that's the wholeness that people don't have that powers that be uh, take advantage of. Yeah. AKA yeah. social media and these platforms yeah. where people are getting explicit and 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 for oh. validation. Um excuse my, you know, saying, but we're willing to take their clothes off for that validation. Exactly. People are like really down to a point now where people for just a few clicks, a few likes, a few yeah. comments or whatever, uh -huh. maybe a few dollars or whatever, maybe monetary gain, they're uh -huh. willing to do whatever. And yeah. it's, uh, it's so morality. unfortunate, but yeah. it is. So morality, it's, it is. Their, yeah. their level of morality is really, you're absolutely right, Trey, was, um, uh -huh. and it's all t it all ties into accountability and also yes. um, our men, uh, I believe Kenneth, thank you, Kenneth, um, spoke earlier on, on accountability at work. And the workplace uh -huh. is like the most yep. subjective, the most subjected place the most place where you people are subjected oh. to verbal abuse yeah. and even sometimes physical abuse, oh. but it starts with the verbal abuse. The yeah. things that I have heard and experienced from our own people, people of color oh. and others, our counterparts um, that I've seen our males go through and it then oh. it's transferred to our women. Oh my God, you're like, how do they function on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, because much of it is is also it has to do with um code switching. Sometimes, you know, people believe mm -hmm. that our people of color, people of color believe that they can't be themselves um at the workplace, let alone be themselves among themselves. You mm -hmm. know, I'm just saying that's that's their belief system because of factors like social media. So they'll use social media to to, to change the morality of how things should be. They'll use mm. social media to, to, to fantasize about what they think it should be because, and, it, and it's uh -huh. all very damaging to mental health. Yeah. It's very damaging. And then they, they may not even know they're traumatizing or just labeling themselves. So uh -huh. at this point, um, we, we, we are making new history to help folks mm -hmm. take the labels off of themselves. And because sometimes you can become handicapped by your own labels, let alone the labels yeah. of society. Can you imagine mm -hmm. you're already being labeled, trying to mm -hmm. handle the labels of society and then and then bathing yourself, just tagging yourself rather with yeah. these labels. So it has to stop. So we're here, we're just stopping. And this is what uh -huh. we do to help you. And because this is going to be ongoing, we got a gazillion more conversations. Um, yes, Ari, it is very damaging. Yes, Ari said, so yes, mommy, is it is, is, is damaging? Yes, my sweet. 
And uh, oh. and Ari, she got a story to tell too. She got something. To, she she's a leader. She's a another leader. Kenneth is a leader. Everybody who came through tonight, we're all leaders and and followers of the truth, you know. And once we find out the truth, the truth sets us in places of freedom. Is the thing. How much freedom are uh, uh, will these conversations permit? How much? Because if people are saying that they are, they believe they can't beat themselves. And this is in, in reference to something called mental gymnastics. You know, it's like <laughs> mind, mind, mind. Um, we say gray rocking. Gray rocking <laughs> is like a mental gymnastic. It takes you. It. It. You know. You tell you. You. You say one thing, but you mean another. Oh, right. <laughs> you ain't. You're not really in real time. You're just doing to, to manipulate the situation to get what you want, and it, everything relegates right back to the individual instead of the group. It's not wholesomely healing. It's nothing true or valid to it. It's just uh -huh. great rocking. So with the mental gymnastics comes code switching. You know, people believe they got to behave one way at the workplace, and uh -huh. then when they're among their friends, they behave another way. I mean, yeah. There yeah. is different times that you behave differently, but in all those instances, you should be able to be you, to be that phenomenal you in uh -huh. every way, all day, every every day. That's what makes you the person who you are. That's what makes you the, the, the being the creative person that you are, and it should uh -huh. be respected. Now, if, that, if it comes to the time where you can't be you anywhere, it's, it's time to investigate. Now, do you guys have a question? Um, mm -hmm. And I'll let you, I'm going to uh, and ask this question while you get your, your light together if you're able to plug it back up or whatever. I know yeah, you're trying to probably yeah, reach yeah, for it or whatever. Exactly. Which is, I am. Which is I'm okay. trying to get it together. <laughs> which is okay. Don't worry like, about it. <laughs> yeah. Just you know, like, go ahead. Like, so go okay. ahead. If you can reach your, uh, your, if you can reach your light, go ahead and try to, you know, get that back on. That's all right. There we go. Look, there we go. That's what we talk about. Give her a moment, ladies and gentlemen. She got it. It ain't no thing. But um, I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask y'all. Do y'all think it ties to, um, because and I'm I'm saying this. Because it's a lot of different environments you may be in, like church, like, um, you know, obviously a job or whatever. But mm -hmm. do you think that only applies to people with certain professions? Because me personally, when it comes to code switching and I I'll, I'll apply this to the workplace, um, okay. you know, because there are a lot of people with obviously, you know, if you're a lawyer, you can't be on the hey, turn up and, uh, you know, <laughs> you, can't, you know, it, there's no none of that, you know, so, you know, certain careers come with it. But. You know, Absolutely. nothing's wrong with my job. For instance, I work at Wawa, so you know, you, you come in here, you come and get your coffee. Hello, ma'am. Hello, I'm sir. Right and that's yes. all yeah, I need to give to you. You know, but yeah, you know, even Wawa. though, yes, <laughs> gotta yeah, have one. Wawa. Apparently, that's what they say. Exactly. Yeah. But, Wawa. <laughs> you know, so um, you know, I, I'm I, oh. I stand big on customer service. You know, I stand yeah. big on um giving my and that's one thing I will say about brown, black and brown people. One thing I try to apply. So. When it comes to us having conversations, one thing I try to put out into the world, because we don't just talk about it here on this platform. We try to implement it and try to do those things and live that way. So yes. I do treat everybody equally. But when I see especially uh, anyone of age, of um, as far as being elderly, as far as being older, um, significantly older than me, possibly, I'm going to give y'all extra uh, customer service. And it's even been so much so that people have uh, kind of side-eyed. And I, ha I had to say out and because i'm one of those people i say i'm going to say what's up you know it might make yeah. people uncomfortable it might make people oh i can't believe you said that yeah well everybody's thinking yeah. it so let me say it for you <laughs> you know but i i said i said what are the, the stairs for i said it loud, loud enough for the you know black ladies in front of me to hear it but i had people turn around and kind of look like you know you're giving them all of this and you you know we didn't we're not getting that type of reception well yeah. it's it's not you know anything personal but i one thing I try to do when I'm out is when I see anybody, any, you know, come on in. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, ma'am. Blah, 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 blah. So let's try to live that is my point. Exactly. Let's try to, yeah, yeah. wherever you are, you know, exactly. and that's why I asked the question, do you think it ties to career? Because I don't have to, I am, you know, myself and, and that's my mm -hmm. ability only because of the career I had. Because like I said, if you was a lawyer or a doctor, you can't be out there, you know, <laughs> you know, who's your mom or you can't, it, that's not, yeah. you can't do that. Oh, you know right. what I mean? 
You yeah. know, Trayvon, that's the first time I've ever heard a, a word. You know how I am. I'll go look up anything in a minute <laughs> so I can quickly understand what code switching is. But from my understanding of what was said, it is, you know, changing masks. That's what it sounds like. Changing masks yeah. at any given time, but doing your it dialect, so much so. Yeah. Your dialect. Now, now you, of course, just like you said, you know, if you're a lawyer and you're in, in a, a certain environment, you know, your image is everything and you can't uh, show your, I mean, just like when you have um, uh, social media, you know, certain jobs that you have, it may not be a good look for them to see you doing certain things. Yeah, because, absolutely. Because, absolutely. Uh, uh -huh. because jobs do now check your social media as part of your character. Yes. But I can say, if I have the definition right, being on the being on a job and being in, in government, you know, for so long, as long as I did, there was definitely a lot of, what do you call it, code switching? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of code switching. That, that I know that I, I I did because I was under that impression that when in Rome do as the Romans do, yeah. and this is what you did to get by. Right. Um, and it's a very and and then there's there's discrimination and everything. Right. Within yes. the job. Um, and one thing I hate to say it, but I I'm gonna be very very honest. I yeah. would say the the worst the worst thing regarding that that I have seen is my own folks. The worst time that mm. I had in that corporate setting was mm. and, and who who weren't encouraging, who, you know, <laughs> the list goes on, you know what I mean, was my yeah. own people. Yeah. Those are the ones I had to watch out for. But yeah. but I, get back to, getting back to code switching, that is just oh, <laughs> Oh, I, mommy. Think that can, I think that that can be look. I had to take a breath. That can be just that can be just as exhausting to keep that 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 facade and sometimes up and then and then whatever you're doing and whatever's going on for you to progress. And I'm telling you what I've seen too. Yeah. For you to progress, you switch that code like switching <laughs> a shirt. Hey, mommy. You know? Like yeah, remember, look, remember <laughs> when I used to work for, I uh, used to work in D.C. and I, uh, I, I called your phone at work. I called your work desk phone. I sure did. <laughs> look, because you know, look, we all know black moms. So it, it might be, it go from, hey, you need to get that up. Hey, get that up. From, hello, my name is Shannon Gray Chappelle. How can I help you? You know, so. so. That's, how you that's how you do it. You were, that's what you got to do. Hey, that's what yeah, you yeah. Sometimes that's what you got to exactly. do. I mean, all, all exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Said. You know, yeah. you're on the phone and you may be talking to your coworkers, but yeah, girl, when I went around here, boy. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yes. Just, hello. Look, just stop it. Hello. Just stop it. Oh yes. Oh, 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 of course. Yes, yes, sir. Not a problem. Absolutely. Yes. Right. Okay. Right. You can make an appointment with the Grand Queen. Right. <laughs> available on Thursday. Yes. Exactly. Right. Click up. Yeah. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. You know, uh, how about I get a call we, from school? How yeah, about get a call right. from school from one of the uh -huh. kids' teachers? And you're at oh, the workplace me... and they're like, oh, hello, uh, may I speak <laughs> with uh, Mrs. Williams about uh, her son? And you're like, right. what? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right away, that, that code changes. That code changes, it's you know. It's it's so yeah, so it, it is right. He did what? Like, uh, I'll be there in a second, <laughs> you right. know, or or however the arrangements are. Yeah, it is yeah. the art of code switching. It is an art to it, you know. And you do have to adapt to certain things. However, mm -hmm. we want to just be able to be who we are. Weirdly wired. Uh, yeah. wired wonderfully and all <laughs> of that without damaging one another and without that damaging part. ourselves as a person. Oh, yeah. We are still humans and we tie well. into each other's lives so much and we just, this has been, oh, this yeah. is not the end yeah. of this conversation. This is tight. Oh, it's, yeah, it's I would love to tie really it back into broad. this. Yeah, Let's break I'll it down into uh, subjects. Let's break it down into smaller subjects, and yeah. we'll, I feel like we'll be able to attack it in its entirety. Exactly. Make, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We we Very coming back in the subtopic with this one here because exactly. um, layers not enough. So, exactly. Oh yeah, there, there's yeah. a whole bunch of layers Clearly to this. Only. Absolutely. It's, now it's one much. thing. Yes. One thing that I had to throw out there before we, because uh, I know we all see that time and we're very conscious on that time. But uh -huh. yes, we um, are. One thing I wanted to throw out really quickly is just uh, just 
just stop the disclaimer um this information in this video is not intended nor implied to be substitute for professional medical advice diagnosis or treatment all content mm -hmm. is to be considered advice and we are mental health advocates not you know medical advisors Person, so yeah. take that as you Absolutely. take it but that's our friendly disclaimer before we close out exactly yes. exactly whoever catches it Whoever catches uh, and it. We whoever catches it. So we thank, thank you for everybody those that stopped for, by. Exactly. You came thank by you. and and you just we thank you for that and the support. And we hope that listen, when you guys come back, bring some bring some more, you know, um information, you know, links <laughs> of support and more, you know, so we can get through this because it is it is super damaging. But we are here, oh, yeah. I have to say, to try to find out. We tonight we found out there's so many variables um uh for women to disrespect and harm our men and for men oh. at the same time but we must learn to protect each other we must learn what is the art of protecting each other as we are learning the art of code switching you know we got to learn oh. how to protect each other and and oh. get to it get with it and get through it until next week and also don't forget the pit stop this wednesday listen hey. we going we going to be about it on at the pit stop this wednesday night and next sunday we going to bring some more to the table of just stop it so listen have the best rest of your black history day keep making history we look forward to sharing new history with you peace love and joy hey one thing i hey. want to do real quick i'm gonna uh, shout out uh kenneth clark i want to shout out uh ariel glenn i want to shout out dj slicky boo boo uh, I also want to shout out Miss Michelle uh, Pucciarelli, one of my comedian friends. Please check her out. Oh. Look her up on Facebook. Um, just wanted to thank y'all just for stopping by. Um, like I said, yes. I would love to touch back into the subject uh, in, in smaller segments because in, in order for us to really dissect and, and, and uh, tag certain subjects, we have to break it yes. down in, in pieces, just like you would if you were to, you know, to dissect the frog. Small exactly. pieces to really understand everything that's happening inside. Oh. Exactly. This and is I a real meal. A yeah, this is a real yes. meal here. We got to do it in parts. Yep. Absolutely. And a I shout like, out to I who? Like to give a shout out. I, would, I would love to give a shout out to my sister, Miss Kimberly McCants, wishing her <laughs> a happy. Happy, hey. happy birthday. And happy, birthday happy birthday to her. Kimberly. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's birthday. my Aunt Kim's Kimberly. birthday today. Absolutely. Thank happy birthday, doing, Aunt Kim. <laughs> wow. Thank you for doing what you do and what you've been to a lot of us. And the person that you are, we appreciate you. We love you. And we are wishing you a happy birthday from our family and, and your friends and everything. So thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank Enjoy you. your birthday you, month. Absolutely. Happy birthday, we love you. Absolutely. Yes. We love oh, you then, all like no other. Hey, I can't. I can't forget. February twentieth, I will be thirty years old. Uh, shout oh, out to yes. <laughs> that shout day. Out so we are both February. I love that I share Absolutely. February. Not only, yes, yeah, not yes. only it being Black History yes. Month, but I love that I share that. You know, she's an Aquarius. Yes. I'm a Pisces, but you know, I love that we share that February month together. So February month, you know, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta yeah. keep. We gotta keep up with birthdays oh, and things. Yeah. We gotta be keeping up with birthdays. This is a February oh. month. The month of love and share that love to our February birthday uh, babies. Uh, also, Ariel is February birthday, mm -hmm. and Joey, uh, Mickey um, from uh, was it Mr. Just? Victor? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Victor, I believe so. And mm -hmm. uh, Joe uh, is also February. So all the February yes. folks come through. We want to celebrate yeah. you as well. We want to celebrate you guys. Um, this is a very special month for you guys. We want to celebrate yeah. every birthday month we get to, to to share together because that's that's a celebration of life. And, and Trayvon, um, this is phenomenal. Yeah. And Trey yes, Biz. Trayvon, we, we, we will give you your, but when the 20th approaches, or <laughs> exactly. the 20th, however it falls, we will properly wish you a happy birthday uh, closer up to that day. Yes, um, we will. So don't think that you've been forgotten because, yes, oh. February birthday. <laughs> Hey, exactly, I was, I was there. So yes, you but, were. But, but, hey, but at the same mom. time, now thank you, Shannon. Yeah. Look, thank you, mommy. But at the same time, what's that song called? I got the power. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, so I'm gonna put myself on the slide in the beginning. Hey, I don't blame you. I don't blame yes, you. Yes, now we're gonna party. We're gonna party up here. Like, nah. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Don't blame me. That is so good. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 yes, nah, yes. I'll just February play with that, nah. Absolutely. I know. 
February yes. 25th is Aries and February oh, 18th. Oh, so she's another Pis- Pisces. Is, okay. Yeah, and February yeah, 18th is Pisces. June. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, oh, yeah. Got, so, we got yeah, a lot of Okay, so he's an Aquarius, like my aunt. Okay. Uh-huh, he's an Aquarius. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and my sister. And my sister well, yeah. next to me is her birthday, too. February. That's right. We got we got a lot going. We got a lot that. of partying to do. <laughs> that yes. is so good. We it's Pisces. good. It's party time. Mm-hmm. That's all right. We're gonna come around and we're gonna we're gonna wish these folks a happy birthday. Yes, yes we, we are. are. We're gonna we're gonna Either do a little party we're gonna have a little a little something going each Sunday. Yeah. Get yeah, in the background. <laughs> we need to do something. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do something here at, at JTI, right guys? Yes. That oh, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we need to do something. Yep. Yeah, we gotta do something here and in, in the background and, and keep celebrating. Absolutely. Oh, exactly. Oh yeah. All right, all right, all right. So it's good. We're excited. All right now. So all right, JTI fam. Love you all much. Right. And okay. until we meet again, it's all good. Right. Just stop it. <laughs> and we keep putting it down. We keep advocating for good mental health. Love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye, See y'all later. Bye. See you later. Till next time. <laughs> All right. Bye, mommy. Bye, y'all. Y'all have a good night. Thank you for watching.